Kevin Hunter, Wendy Williams' ex-husband, has requested that their divorce be set aside because he believes Wendy fraudulently concealed $48 million from him in their settlement. The 60-year-old TV celebrity married Hunter in 1999, and their divorce was formalized in January 2020. She just broke her silence over the Diddy sex trafficking investigation. Kevin's appeal to the court comes after Sabrina Morrissey, Wendy's guardian, requested earlier this year in April that Hunter reimburse $112,000 in overpaid alimony. The producer requested that the court vacate and set aside their divorce based on fraud, misrepresentation, and misconduct in court documents that the source was able to get on Wednesday. Williams and Hunter divorced in 2019 on the grounds of irreconcilable differences. Her guardian then filed a Wells Fargo portfolio, claiming Williams' total holdings to be approximately $7.3 million. But Regina Shell, a close friend of the celebrity, submitted an affidavit claiming that as of 2022, Williams possessed $55 million in her accounts. Kevin now says that Wendy fraudulently concealed the additional $48 million in their divorce because of the affidavit. Hunter demanded that the divorce be reversed, but Sabrina Morrissey, Wendy's guardian, asserted that Kevin had knowledge of every one of the star's accounts. Morrissey said, according to the U.S. Sun, I cannot address what Regina thinks she saw or heard, what a third person thinks she heard, or what that third person may or may not have reported to Regina. In his papers, Kevin affirmatively indicates that Wendy presented Regina her financial statements. Kevin was not there and has no personal knowledge of whether or not this interaction occurred. Sabrina said in continuation. Additionally, she stated that Hunter was fully satisfied and understood the process and had consulted with professionals to be fully aware of the assets and his rights with regard to such assets at the time of the former couple's divorce proceedings. Wendy's ex-husband has absolutely no case to reopen the divorce proceedings, Morrissey continued. The sources claim that Regina submitted an affidavit during the summer claiming to have seen Wendy's Wells Fargo bank statements. The best friend of the TV personality also stated that she had lived with the celebrity in July 2022. She stated that Williams had indicated at that time that she would like to investigate further financial ventures for her estate, including specifically a possible change with her existing financial institution. She also sent me Wells Fargo records that revealed an almost $55 million total balance. Later in December of that year, Regina stated that Wendy had invited her to a meeting at Bank of America. She then drove herself and the TV host, Sabrina Morrissey, to a courthouse in the same car. But shortly after, Wendy's PR claimed to have overheard Morrissey assert that there is no money in Wendy's accounts. Regina submitted the affidavit pertaining to the divorce case of Williams and Hunter. Kevin has also questioned Morrissey's legal ability to practice law in New Jersey on behalf of Williams. Morrissey is an attorney residing in New York. According to the U.S. Sun, the judge ordered Sabrina 21 days to demonstrate that she is authorized to represent Wendy in the state of New Jersey. Hunter stated in court filings that Morrissey's representation of Williams is akin to practicing law without a license as she is neither a guardian appointed by a New Jersey court nor a barred attorney. Before saying, I do, in 1999, Wendy and Kevin started dating in 1994. In August 2000, the couple received their 24-year-old son, Kevin Hunter Jr. Hunter had never worked in television before, but early in their relationship, he helped his wife create her talk show, which he executive produced. He also became her manager and production partner. In the end, Williams divorced Hunter in April 2019 due to irreconcilable differences after over 20 years of marriage, despite the fact that it was well known that Hunter had been implicated in multiple adultery scandals. January 2020 saw the finalization of their divorce, two months before COVID-19 was declared a pandemic. Morrissey Wendy's ex-husband returned alimony money in April of this year, claiming it was overpaid to him. Morrissey is requesting that her former husband, Kevin Hunter, repay her for $112,500 in alimony that was overpaid over a three-month period in a case that was submitted to the Superior Court of New Jersey, according to the source. However, Hunter requested in a different court filing that the former talk show host reimburse him for 23 months' worth of unpaid spousal support from their divorce. He said that prior to her being placed under the court-ordered guardianship, 
which is in charge of her finances and health. In May 2022, she ceased giving him alimony. Morrissey claimed that if Hunter's yearly earned income surpassed a specific level, she would be eligible for severance compensation from Williams. But Team Williams claims that Hunter no longer fits the requirements of the contract, as she missed the whole previous season hosting the Wendy Williams show. And as a result, he must return the money that was overpaid to him plus interest. Morrissey stated in the complaint that, I believe this was largely the result of the fact that the payments have been put on an auto-pay function within her account. Since 2021, her residual income has been extremely meager. It has never even come close to accounting for half of her income from February 2020 or October 2021. Williams only got two payments after leaving the program, according to the court document. A lump sum of $1,952 in February 2022 and $59 in January 2023. Hunter and Williams had a severance payment arrangement, but they could end it if Williams' annual income is less than two times her then yearly salary as of February 1, 2020, according to the Morrissey lawsuit. Apart from the money issue, Morrissey is also attempting to place Hunter under a gag order, which would stop him from discussing the Williams case. Following a request from Morrissey's bank, Wells Fargo, for a New York Supreme Court hearing to establish if Morrissey's health circumstances warranted a financial guardianship, a court appointed Morrissey's guardian in March. She denied the accusations and charged misconduct against a Wells Fargo financial advisor as well as her former manager. Over the years, the resident of Asbury Park, New Jersey, has had several health challenges such as addiction and thyroid difficulties. Following a series of medical examinations, Wendy eventually made her diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia public in February 2024, according to rumors. In 2018, Williams revealed that she had been afflicted with hyperthyroidism due to Graves' disease, a condition for which she had received a diagnosis almost 20 years earlier. Her natural hair is thinning as a result of her thyroid problem which is primarily why she has worn wigs over the years. When her Hunter Foundation announced in 2019 that a hotline for substance abuse will be open, people assumed she had relapsed from recovery. Williams said shortly after that she was residing in a sober house. Williams disclosed at the end of 2019 that she had been given a lymphedema diagnosis, which results in ankle swelling.